go, going from um, one's complement to decimal. Okay, let's actually spend some time on two's complement now. Okay, it's two's complement. Positive, same as sine magnitude, i.e., the leftmost bit is zero for positive. Okay, so negative. Take the ones complement. Add one. Okay. So, um, let's see. Let's do plus twenty-seven again. Plus twenty-seven. If we remember right, using our eight-bit notation was three zeros, two ones, one zero, two ones. So we're going to take the ones complement of that, which is one 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 zero zero one. 0, 0. We're going to add 1. Using our binary addition rules, that's 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. That is the 2's complement representation of negative 27 in 8-bit notation. 8-bit so 2's complement representation of negative 27. Okay? So let's go back to decimal. So that was, excuse me, that was decimal to twos. Let's do twos back to decimal. How do you do this one? Okay, so go back to decimal, sum the weights, but again, leftmost di digit. is negative. Okay? Don't have to add plus one in this time. Okay, so let's do let's see. One, 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 zero, one, 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 zero. So that's eight bits. Two's complement notation. What is the number? So it's using our our weights, two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, two to the three. 4, 2 to the 5, 2 to the 6, 2 to the 7. The leftmost digit is negative, so negative 2 to the 7. It's not 2 to the negative 7th. It is not that. It is negative 2 to the 7th. Totally different animal. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and sum our weights. So 2 to the 1 is 2. 2 to the 2 is 4, 2 to the 3 is 8. Don't worry about 2 to the 4 because there's a 0 there. 32, 64, negative 128, plus 64, plus 32, plus 8, plus 4, plus 2. And don't worry about our 1s, so we don't expect it's going to be even number. Oh my gosh, it is. Negative 18. Okay? So why is 2's complement so important? Basically, Adding the two's complement of a number is the same as subtracting the number. Plus, it's easier to convert to decimal. As we just showed, basically it's just the sum of the weights where the leftmost digit is negative. Don't have to worry about adding plus one when we're converting back to decimal. Um, you still gotta account for it up here, converting decimal to that, but that can be done very easily with, you know, here's our number coming in. Here's a bunch of inverters coming in. So that there's a one here, that is zero, zero here, one there, etc., etc. But now all you would do is put an adder in here. This right here is the one's complement. Excuse me, the two's complement is coming out. So real easy to make the two's complement, giving a decimal number um, with an adder. So and it's just super easy to convert it back to um, to decimal. Okay, so let's talk about that. Uh, why it's so important? Adding the two's complement of a number is the same as subtracting them. Okay, let's do. Uh, here, let's see. Okay. One o oh, o oh, one. That's nine. But we're going to represent it 
as a 8-bit uh, number. So 9, uh, let's do a number that we've already used before, negative 27. Okay, we want to subtract 27 from 9. So 9 minus 27, we should know the answer is negative 18. Oh great, we actually have negative 18 right there too. Okay, um, that should be our answer, right? So let's go ahead and try it. So let's take the, the 2's complement of 27, So which is representation of negative 27. So it's up here is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So like I said, adding the 2's complement of a number is the same as subtracting the number. So if I add this 2's complement number here of 27, it's the same thing as subtracting 27. Okay? So let's add it together. So 1 and a 1 is a 0 with a carry of 1. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so what is this right here? Let's go back to the 2's complement of this number right here. So 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5, 2 to the 6, 2 to the 7, with a negative. Because remember, we're taking the, the negative, uh, the leftmost digit is negative. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to match these up. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, negative 128, 64, 32, 8, 4, 2. Why am I doing so? I just leave this up here. The answer is negative 18. Okay? So you see what's what's going on there. It's basically adding the 2's complement of a number is the same as subtracting a number. It's just a lot easier to convert to decimal to. Okay, the last thing on this section I want to talk about is the range of values. real simple formula. All you do is it can go from as low as negative 2 n to the minus 1 where n is number of bits. So low and it can go as high as 2 to the n minus 1 minus 1. Okay so let's use 8 bits 8 bits is a super common packaging. That's a byte. So example for 8 bits, our low will be negative 2, 8 minus 1, negative 2 to the 7th. That's negative 128. Our high, that's our low. Our high is 2 to the n minus 1 minus 1. So that's to the seventh minus one, it's 128 minus one, 127. So for an 8-bit package, two's complement can represent anything from negative 128 to positive 127. Okay? All right, we are going to deal with a next video. It's going to be floating point numbers.